All right, so this is the uh, uh, at least functioning CNC 9 by 20 lathe. Um, give a quick overview. You have the Z-axis motor and uh, a little bit of spiral wrap running back here. Here you have the completed X-axis. Uh, that runs back and forth. You can see it's a 2 to 1 reduction through there. The spindle right here. Uh, not much to really see there. It's got a uh, belt drive and a bigger motor that I've crammed in the back. It's a one horsepower motor. Barely fits in there. Uh, the here is the control panel right here. Um, starting down here, that's my safety relay I wired in. It's not really a safety relay, but it's a relay of some sort. Uh, my Tico FM50, that's a spindle controller, a couple of killing drives, and a power supply. So I'll uh, plug it in. We'll see how it works. All right. So we have it hooked up to EMC here. I've been trying to drive it around a little bit, but we'll watch it and see if it runs. Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to... We've got to kick in the uh, safety relay here. You can watch it pull in. Oh, there we go. It's all better now. Start up EMC. There it goes. All right. Looks like it's moving. Just jogging it around here. We'll see if we can give it a speed command in the MDI mode. See if we can give it a maybe an S500. It, there we go. We got S500. We're giving it an S2000. That should be the top speed. Yeah, there we go. And uh, we'll try jogging it around a little bit. Oh man, I can't jog it. Well, it's uh, manual control. Let's try an S. Let's try an S500 again. We'll give it a Z. I don't have any idea where it is right now. Hmm. Maybe I'd better uh, better get it calibrated with limit switches before I try much more.